That's coming up in just a bit. There's some progress tonight in the debate over a solar farm proposed for Saline County. Now, residents weren't happy with changing plans about where those panels will go. News 3's Maya Skinner was at tonight's county board meeting and joins us now with an update. Good evening, Maya. Good evening, Julie. Those homeowners came out tonight because they say the solar company is trying to change regulations they already agreed upon last year. But after the meeting, the board says that won't be the case. Thursday night, citizens of Saline County said they were concerned about the El Dorado Solar Project, a development estimated to be $135 million and sit on 2,600 acres of private farmland. Homeowners tell News 3 they're okay with the solar farm itself, but say developers want to change setbacks, providing 600 feet between their property and the solar farm to only 200. Board member Jonathan Russell says he's glad the community came out to voice their opinions. Tenask is not asking for any changes whatsoever to the ordinance. They are still working on their plans. They are um, you know, creating their maps. And then if anyone is impacted, then they want to work with them directly. Residents say they feel like their voices were heard. Tonight's meeting was relatively productive. Uh, the whole purpose for us being over here is this 600 foot ordinance. Uh, that's something we want to keep. That's very important to us. We, for the first time, were very encouraged because our board, we always felt like they would stand with us. But what happened tonight was we got uh, more verbal um, uh, agreement from them regarding uh, honoring uh, the 600 feet. Russell says the county wants to continue working with Tenasca and make sure residents are taken care of. It's finding the right balance between um, everyone involved. Russell also tells us they do plan to clarify some language within the ordinance at a future time. Live in the studio, Maya Skinner, News 3.